All right, so you're welcome back once again to today's lecture. Sorry, we have some interaction with our audio system, so we need to refresh the system so that we can start a new video once again. So if you are lying, share this video so that others can join us. So that others can also join us so that we all learn together in that case. So let me share my board but also that we start right away in today's lecture. So today is going to be a continuation of the course that we have started on this channel, that's Introduction to Business Statistics. So that is what we are continuing with in today's lecture. So today that is the new thing that we are taking all together, that is Sorry, that's classifications of data. So you are looking at classifications of data as anything. So make sure to share this video so that others can join us so that we all learn together in that case. So that's what we are looking out for in today's lecture. Classifications of what data, classifications of data. If you can remember, we said earlier on that in our introductory part of this course, that in the singular definition of statistics, we did mention of what classification when it comes to organization of data. So it is one of the key functions so far as statistics is concerned. So that's why we're going to look out for as a separate topic to treat on classifications of data. How do you classify data? How do you classify data? That's what we are going to look out in today's lecture. So please share this video so that others can join us and like us all. Well. Please share this video so that others can join us. So. Let's begin real quick for today's lecture. That is on classifications of what data, classifications of data. So what is classifications of data? So by classification, you are talking about where we group data based on the common characteristics, based on what one data have, same with what other data. That's what we call by classification. So where we group data based on their common characteristics or what features, that's what we call classification. So when it comes to classification of data, we have three forms of classifying data. We have one where we have a group data, we have on group, and we also have a categorical form of what classification. But before we delve into these classifications, let's look at some terms. So far as classification of data is what's concerned. So we're going to look at some key terms here. So the first key thing I'm going to look at is on raw data. What is a raw data? We are saying that raw data, raw data, it is a collected data which have not been what organized numerically. It is a collected data which have not been organized what numerically. That's why we call what a raw data. It's a data that's not organized what numerically. So that is a raw data. So when you have A, B, C, D, A, C, B, these are data. Why here you have organized them numerically? They're just there. That's why we call what a raw data. Data which has not been organized numerically. That's why we call what a raw data. Then, sorry, we can also talk about what array. What is array? Array is an arrangement of what raw numeric data in ascending or descending order of magnitude. Let's say we have this form of data. Let me bring in some data here so that you appreciate what I'm saying better. So let's say we have two, let's say we have three, let's say we have four, let's say we have five let's say we have let me bring in six here in front here when you have this data we are saying that this is a raw data why right? if one, for you to get an array of these data it is arrangement of numeric data in a form of ascending order or descending order of magnitude is that okay so if i want to arrange this in an ascending order that is it start from what two then move to three then move to four then move to five, then move to what six. That means from the least number to the what the highest number. That's why we call the ascending order. If I also want to arrange them in a descending order, that will start from six, come to five, four, three, and what two. This is what we call what a descending. So here, at any time you arrange data in ascending order or descending, we call it what an array of what data, or an array of a set of what numeric what data. So let's take note of that. Let's take note of that. So that is the second 
key term here. The next, sorry. So the next thing here is also about variable. Remember, we spoke about variable when we were discussing, when we started with the introductory part of some statistical terms. We said variable is also any quantity or attribute that can assume what a set of what values, that can assume a set of what values. I mean, can assume a different set of what values. Is that okay? And we said that variable can be what, can be continuous, variable or a discrete what variable and then we spoke about continuous variable that is a variable whose what values are within what a certain range okay and we also spoke about discrete variable that we said discrete variable too it's also a variable whose values can be what counted or what classified if you can remember here where we assign what number to what this data that's what we call a discrete what variable we also then also i think there's a new thing coming in here Frequency. So what is frequency? Frequency, we are talking about the number of occurrence of a given value or what a group. The number of times a particular set of data repeats itself. So that's what we call a frequency. Is that okay? So frequency, we are talking about the number of occurrence of a given value or a group of what data, how it's okay, the number of times that it's okay, the number of times that data repeats itself. So that's what we call a frequency of that particular what data or what a value. Is that okay? So that's frequency. And the frequency also have what we call frequency what frequency distribution actually it is a tabular what arrangement of data by class together with what their corresponding what class frequencies called the frequency what distribution table so when you talk about frequency distribution that's why we arrange data in a frequency what in a frequency table form why we arrange data in a table form that's what we call a frequency or distribution is that okay? So under that, you're going to talk about group on group and then categorical. I think when we move on, get to understand. So that's frequency distribution. So under that, we have ungrouped, we have group, and then we have categorical. As you can see, here, we have what categorical in that case. So let's take note of that. So these are some of the terms that you're going to look out in today's lecture. So let's continue. So let's look at what is on group what frequency what is on group frequency distribution what is on group frequency distribution